So, <clears throat> I think we're going to go kill some hobgoblins. I'm looking to get our defense up to 40. Uh, if I can, we'll have to have range up to 70 in order to be able to use the black gear. Let's view the crafting guide real quick. We're actually pretty close to being able to make a blue dragon, so that might be a thing. It might be worth our while to make some dragon hide uh, armor in blue. But in order to do that, we'd have to gain about four levels of crafting. Which shouldn't be too hard. We'll just go back to the gem mines. Um, so somebody gave me like 300,000, which was like the exact amount that I needed to be able to get a bond, which is nice. Um, so shout out to whoever the fuck that was. And now we're going to train up some defense. And just kill some hobgoblins. Cows are probably better money. Cows are some of the best money. But, um... We've killed enough cows for now. Now, as I see it, once we hit our 40 defense, we'll have all of the melee skills we're going to need to be able to be useful to a crew. Um, I mean, we'll fucking need to get our range up, obviously, but... That shouldn't be too hard. Fucking darts just shred out range experience, it seems. I really like my big sword. Apparently it's far less effective than other possible weapons, but I don't give a shit. Let's just look at armor. Yeah, so I can wield blue at 50. So that's probably what we're going to do. Get range up to 50. What the fuck are you? Bruv, if you hadn't gone on my neck, I'd have let you live. You're lucky you're an adorable insect. Get the fuck away from me. Ugh. Don't you fucking hate that? Like, I mean, I've had this window open for all of, like, 300 seconds. Oh, God. Close the fucking thing. I don't understand why you're sitting there, Doge. My doggo doesn't seem to want to sit next to me. Oh, limpwort. We can use that. Limp works good. Um, I'm not sure which potion it is that we need it for. But, there you go. I'm not sure what combat level I'll need to be for hobgoblins and as an extension of that hill giants to stop attacking me. I think it's still double plus one, even with higher level stuff. So, that's good. And since we're going melee, we can really just stand here and let these guys do all the fighting. And they'll just attack us and we'll automatically do that when we look at our stats here. Now, 
technically we want to get our attack up to 60. Um, so that, oh, we, so that we can, um, wield our dragon pickaxe, but we're obviously not going to be buying a dragon pickaxe anytime soon. Um, I mean, shit's like literally the cost of an entire bond, so... It just doesn't seem terribly fair. For us to be spending our money on that when, you know, bosses and stuff drop it, I guess. And really, we should be killing bosses anyways. They're apparently the best source of money. Which I guess is fine. Sure, I wish that smithing would let me make useful things instead of just absolute shit. Ooh, I'll take a sapphire. One more ring for the fucking collection, bitches. Now, our health is, should just keep going up real slow, like, but 46 is not enough. Obviously, we're going to need a lot more to kill that stupid fucking dragon. Um, anti-fire potions would probably help a lot with that. But at the same time, I'm not sure that I want to invest a whole bunch of money into it anymore. We, we already sunk a pretty good amount into getting that fucking dragon dead, and clearly we just couldn't do it. I mean, we couldn't even stay alive long enough to pick up our own shit. I wonder if I can get infinite dragon fire shields. You know, just like, talk to dude, drop the shield on the ground, talk to dude again. I should find out. Like, you know, since my defense is gonna be rising up, maybe I'll be a little bit more adequate once I go back with 40 defense instead of like 31. I'm not really sure how important defense is when we're dealing with dragon fire. Because I thought that that was a magic based attack which should be calculated based off of my magical defense. So, like, I don't know. Yeah, sure, I'll take your iron sword. Honestly, if I was gonna, like, you know, make this game, um, I would just have multi-combat zones be pretty much everywhere. Because, like, you know, fucking, it seems a little odd to me that I walk up to a group of fucking hobgoblins and they decide to come at me one at a time they get some sort of honorable combat. What is a fucking hobgoblin anyways? Ugly smelly creature. Well. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that a few of those things could be said about our hero here. I mean, look, she's carrying around a bag full of herbs. She got ashes. She's got pies that have been in the fucking bank for like weeks. And I mean, given how much gold and stuff we've carried around in this apron, that apron's got a stink. And these are like leather pants, so that's building up sweat. She cannot smell good right now. I mean, basically the only space where she's getting any like air on her skin is right around her neck and face 
are right there at the small of her back. Which is weird because I'm pretty sure her dress should go all the way down. Let me see here. Yeah, the dress goes all the way down, so apparently the apron requires that the dress be pulled up so that the belly button can be exposed. Because that's what all female clothing should do, is expose the belly button. It really surprises me that uh, female video game protagonists don't have more problems with being, you know, stabbed in the fucking abdomen. I should have grabbed some runes. That's alright, I'll just drop the pie dishes. They're not that fucking valuable. In fact, maybe I'll just, um, put on my bracelet of clay. And go dig a billion clay. It's not really a necessity, but it might be nice if I do decide I want to make, like, summer pies or whatever. I think Admiral Pie is pretty close to being within our reach here. We'll find out. If you would ever hit your target, that would be nice. So this is why everybody uses scimitars, because they hit way more um, often. It, not like they're more accurate, it's just that they swing so much faster that you get like way more opportunities to actually hit the enemy. I might have to back out of here just to be able to check our cooking. Uh, which I really don't feel like doing. Let's see. Where's Admiral Pie? Level 70. Okay. No, but we can make fish pie and um, and mushroom pie. So we'll have to buy a pie recipe book. Or just look it up. Yes, attack it. See, if I had, like, a, um, a home dog, I would be like, alright, I'm gonna sit over here and pester these guys with arrows. And then, you know, when your bag is full... You can come in here and shoot them with arrows, and then I'll go in with my sword. Right, that way we could both get a bag load. But, obviously that's not going to happen here. Really, the only uh, person I know, in reality, who plays this uh, at all, needs to get up their magic. Like... You know, not really. They should focus on their magic more, blah, blah, blah. But I think that if they had a couple of teleports, it would probably make their life so much fucking easier. And I gave them a shit ton of runes, which I wouldn't do for pretty much anyone. Like, you know, you gotta really be my dog for me to give up my runes, because, uh... You know, it's not like you can fucking make infinite runes or anything. It's not like... There's a skill that may or may not be level 12, which you can use to, um, which you can use to make infinite runes. That's just not a thing in this. You know, like the world makes it pretty clear that runes are a limited resource, non-renewable. So, you know, just something to think about. <sighs> well, 
what they need is a higher level of alchemy. So instead of like, you know, low alchemy and high alchemy, you know, you've got uh, low alchemy, high alchemy, and ludicrous alchemy. I just like saying the word ludicrous. And that way, you know, you have getting things at 1%, getting things at 2%, and getting things at like 6%. I mean, it would obviously be a pretty high level spell. And probably in one of them spell books that nobody likes. But then you could like, you know, fucking alchemize things at just a little bit more value. For people like me who, uh, I mean, it was still slightly profitable, but... I had to high elk all those sets of iron gear that I had made because, well, shit. Need money. Need magic training. But it would have been nice to make just a little bit more because the profit margins between the runes and everything was really close. Like, I was almost making a loss there. And I hate that. I think it was like 580 per set. And then of course, nature runes cost about 207. So like I was making 200 and some odd per thing. So it wasn't like terrible, but really you wanna make thousands per bag slot, I feel. Like, you know, that was a lot of effort that went to make in each of those sets. 13 bars of iron and so on. Which, I mean, is fine. If I hadn't have made all those sets, my smithing wouldn't have been high enough to go into the turbo forge. And so it all kind of balances back out. Oh, is this Hobgoblin stronger? Well, he's got a spear. Maybe he drops something slightly different. Really, if I do activate the membership, it's probably just going to be so that I can have fucking bank space again. I don't want to activate it, like, today or anything, because I would feel like I should turn it on when I've got, like, a real solid idea of what's going on that day. That way I can know, like, alright, it's cool for me to just kind of chill out today and click on purple rocks. Because that's what I think is going to be, uh, my first step. Click on purple rocks. I mean, what I figure is I'll go in, I'll click on purple rocks for a while, get some materials, make some jewelry. And then I'll go to Korand, kill some hill giants. You know, burying bones and collecting heads or whatever. And as I get my levels up, see, cause I, I feel like I should be able to gather enough gems and whatnot before I get bored. Um, to make the 